And our favorite Mexican restaurant is... They put a lot of, a lot of meat. And I don't know if you try some ceviche, which is pretty much like raw seafood, but it's cooked, so it's not raw. So good. Definitely if you like cocktails, this is a good place to come. So definitely this is a high-end Mexican restaurant. These are super popular in Mexico. I was just saying to Carla too that they don't have the zero version, but they have lots of flavors. It's called like sweaty tacos yeah. almost. Sweaty tacos, there you go. Oh, it's so good. I love mezcal. I just like that, that smokiness to it. They really nail the flavors here. They taste like Mexico. In this video, we're going to show you some of the best Mexican restaurants in Calgary. And I'm so happy that we're doing this because all the time people ask me, what the be what's the best Mexican restaurant in Calgary? And I felt so ashamed to say, I don't know. <laughs> so after this video, I'm going to be able to answer that question for you. And you can definitely trust our opinion because obviously Carla's from Mexico and I've been there enough times that I think I'm half Mexican, no? Yeah. <laughs> So of course we're not going to show them all, but we're definitely going to show you five of the best restaurants and at the end we're going to tell you which one's our favorite. Now we're at the Moose and Poncho, which is the highest ranked Mexican restaurant in Calgary. And this one's a bit different because it's actually located in a food court called First Street Market, which is a pretty cool place. We've actually never been here before, but there's a number of different options for places to eat here. So if you're with friends or family and they want something else, it's a good spot to come. But they actually just told us that they're also opening up multiple locations across the city because they're so popular. In fact, he told us they were actually just featured on the Guy Fieri, if I'm saying that right, his TV show. Pretty popular guy that came to the city and chose to focus on them. So we're pretty excited to see how this food tastes. So far, these tacos look very authentic and they look loaded. So I'm sure with two or three, I'll be full. But uh, we had a chance to talk to the owner, which is also from Mexico City. And he described that everything they do is fresh and actually all, their, all the meat is sourced from here, Alberta. So it seems that this is very, it's very good, it's very fresh, it's very authentic. And he brought like a sample of the different kinds of tacos they have. So they have braised beef, turkey, carnitas, which is pork, and as well as uh, a lot of very Mexican ingredients such as avocado, cactus, the, house, the salsas are also made in house and there's these different kinds. So can't wait to try them. So I'm gonna st start with the braised beef just because I love the braised beef and it comes with some au jus. So hi, let's see. Oh my God, I don't think my mouth is gonna open as big. Come on, this braised beef is so good, mm. so juicy and tender, oh my god. You're good eating tacos now. I know, eh? I should be after all these years. <laughs> Another nice thing is they also have options for vegetarians and vegans. I'm gonna try the vegetarian option right now, which definitely has cactus, refried beans, some sour cream. Cheese. Oh, it's so good. I find when I try to make vegetarian stuff at home, it's not as good. But when you have it out, it's always good. And it has cactus. Mm -hmm. How you like it in a taco? Very good. If you haven't had cactus before, this is probably a good way to try it. I've had it in Mexico. It's good. It's just sometimes when you eat it, the texture of it is different. But in a taco, you don't notice that. So it's just good. And now we're gonna move on to the tostadas, which is basically similar to a taco, but it's a crispy tortilla instead. And uh, this one's carnitas, which is pork. And this one has a base of cactus and avocado. Looks good. They put a lot of, a lot of meat. <gasps> and they put the pickled onions, which are super, super good. Yeah, you wouldn't think so, but the pickled onions really add a lot to a taco. And also, a tostada usually, or well, these kinds of tostadas usually don't have cheese, but they do it here because white people tend to like their cheese. That's what he said, you gotta 
cater to your audience, eh? And I got the cochinita pibil tostada, which it has a base of beans. And the cool thing about Mexico is that we have so much variety of food, and this one is actually from the state of Mérida. And one of the owners is from Mérida, so it should be pretty good. Oh my god. It's delicious. Maybe you can tell that the cochinita pibil is my favorite one. It's very, very good. And in a tostada, mm, yummy, with the beans. Also, what is very cool is that they also have like Mexican drinks. So you can either get an agua fresca or this kind of pops, which are very popular now. I see them in many places in Calgary. And this one is mango. And for me, I'm trying to pick my favorite, but I honestly don't know. They're all they're all pretty good, and it's definitely good value because it's about seven bucks for a taco, ten dollars for a tostada. But they like load it up with the protein. These are really big, definitely a lot bigger than the tacos you'd get in Mexico City. Well, this little lady doesn't want to sleep. <laughs> She's so gossipy. Anyway, one day you're gonna try this amazing plan. I'm glad that we left some room for dessert because the plan is amazing. And everyone knows what a churro is by this point. So good. Can't go wrong with a churro. Well, I'm very excited about doing this video. And we're here at Native Tongues, which is actually one of the most popular restaurants, Mexican restaurants, here in Calgary. So Native Tongues actually has two locations at Calgary. We're at the Victoria Park one, which is kind of in downtown Calgary, and is always packed. To start things off, we wanted to order some really cool drinks, and they have a lot of inventive drinks here that come, or at least are inspired by the different states of Mexico. So the one I went with is the Calor Aguizo, which is uh, inspired from North Mexico, and it sounds amazing. Birria wash mezcal, chili liqueur, sweet vermouth, demerara syrup, orange juice, smoked Mexican dark lager. I'm gonna try that first. Oh yeah. She's right, they're definitely a spirit board, so if, I mean, if you like something strong, cut me, and smoky, it's a good drink. And Carla went with uh, what's called the Campos Fresos from the Gulf Coast. It's a little sweeter from what she said. Gin, elderflower, strawberry cordial, lemon juice, green strawberry bitters, and foam. <gasps> thing about Mexican food is that it has its staple ingredients that are gonna be very often in a lot of meals that you can try and that's avocado, onion, tomato, beans. So in this case we went with a super torta which is a pretty good option because it's a very first size and it's pretty much a sandwich which this kind of baguette that we have in Mexico but it's, it's not a baguette it's just like it's just something similar to a baguette but it's softer and you have your choice of meat and in this case we went with braised beef and it's pretty good because it has good cheese and beans and this sauce which is pretty good guacamole and then we wanted to try some seafood and I don't know if you try some ceviche which is pretty much like raw seafood but it's cooked so it's not raw <laughs> but it's cooked with, with it's cooked with lime and this one is the ceviche de aguachile which it comes with an like a special dark sauce which is not very spicy it's pretty good so don't be afraid to try it As Excuse me, as well with onion, fresh avocado, and all that good stuff that I mentioned, and it's very, very good as well. I thought we were done, but we decided to get also a taco, a cochinita de pibil taco, which is this one is from the state of Merida, which is a destination that is becoming quite popular in Mexico. And this is a new challenge, trying to eat with Sofia in my lap because she, want, she wants to grab everything. One day, Sofia, one day. So far, I tried with the red sauce, and it's pretty good. Let's see the green one. Mm. 
Mmm, that is pretty good. But it's so messy, look at this. How does it compare to the tacos in Mexico City? Well, the cochinita pibil, it's pretty authentic. This is how you, you will have them in Mexico. The tortilla is very good. It's hard to find good corn tortillas in, Mexico, in Canada. But these ones are pretty authentic and the flavor as well. And I love that it comes with pickled onions. Uh, so overall, I find that this, this restaurant does pretty good. And the authenticity is pretty close in terms of flavor. I guess also they, they do their own recipes, but it's pretty good so far. Of course, <laughs> the prices are in Canada, not in Mexico. Because <laughs> everything here is way more expensive. Well, we were almost going to get out of here without having dessert, but we couldn't resist. They have three things on the menu. Uh, flan, strawberries and cream, very Mexican desserts, and a donut. But we've heard, or at least I've heard, some good things about their donuts, so we decided to give that a try. And we opted for their mocha flavor. Should I eat it with a fork or like with my hands? No, cut it in half so cut we're it. even. <laughs> but I'm bigger, I get a little more, like 60%. Uh, nah. Yes, exactly very good. I can't wait to try it now because I was like a donut, but no, it looks pretty good and it's pretty good value because this is a five dollar donut and it's huge. Mm. Oh yeah, it's good, very fluffy. We're now at Fonda Four, which is in downtown Calgary, right inside the Wesley Hotel. This is definitely one of the more upscale Mexican food options. And the name is actually a nod to the celebrated Fondas found all throughout Mexico. Well, hopefully you can all hear us well because the music is a little bit loud, even though we have like these mics that are like closer to our mouth. And the restaurant is pretty nice. I love the decor and it seems that it's gonna be a busy night even though it's Wednesday. And first thoughts is that there's a lot of mole in the in the menu and mole is like a it's a very fancy sauce in Mexico, very elaborated, it has a lot of ingredients. So this is a good sign that this restaurant can be quite authentic. So can't wait to try our choices. One thing I really look forward to when we come to restaurants like this are the cocktails. It's something I really love, especially when they're really creative with them. And this place has a lot of interesting sounding cocktails on the menu. So many to choose from that I had to ask for some help. But uh, I ended up going with my first one as a margarita, keeping it kind of traditional, except this one's obviously a bit different and has ha is habanero infused. So I do like spicy drinks. has a kick. It's great because it also has hibiscus, which is something I've really come to love in drinks. It sounds that I can like it. Holy. It's a spicy, man. You're not going to be able to eat with it. <laughs> and I got like kind of a traditional paloma which is made with tequila and a grapefruit soda in Mexico. Of course, it has a more fancy tequila, which is like mint infused. So let's see. Oh, wow. It's yummy. I usually don't drink that much, but my drink was that good that I am almost done before the appetizer. <laughs> And I'm so excited to try this one. We try, we ordered the salmon sashimi, and it looks so fancy. Like you don't find this in Mexico, so definitely this is a high-end Mexican restaurant. So let's see. So this is made with aguachile. It has some cucumber, peanuts. And it's, it's good. I like it. That is very good. Very, very good. And definitely very unique. I've never really seen sashimi like this before. All right, drink number two. <laughs> you can tell I really like this place already. 
But uh, this time I went for their signature sour. I really love sours. This one has Pisco, which is a really good liquor I like. But they also, it also has like a herbal flavored liquor that they said is a little better than Jägermeister. So pretty sure I'm going to like it. But, so good. Definitely if you like cocktails, this is a good place to come. Sofia and Emma are also having their supper. For people that don't drink alcohol, there's also options for non-alcoholic drinks. And I went with the orchettini. So it's, it's made with espresso orchata, which is a fresh water made with rice in Mexico, very popular, as well as chocolate and a little bit of cinnamon on top. And it's very good. And there's an option that you can add alcohol if you wish. But just like this, it's very good. Well, it was a tough choice on a second appetizer, but we ended up going with the beets in mole verde. So as Carla mentioned, there's lots of different mole options here. So this is a green mole with golden beets. Sounded delicious. And it makes us feel like we're getting our vegetables. It's delicious. It's really, really good. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, this mole is very good and the beets is also very good. I've never seen this color of beets and they're good. One of the main courses that we went with was the pork belly in mil tomate, which is a tomatillo or green tomatoes based sauce. And it comes with pineapple as well, as well as corn tortillas on the side. And this really surprised me, having the, the dark tortillas. So let's see how it tastes. Mm. This is good. Very, very good. Now it's my turn to try the pork belly tacos. And I didn't intend it this way, but it just happened to be that my third drink is uh, basically a um, pork fat infused rum, so it goes together well. Taco's very good. Super interesting, also very, very good. I love the cocktails here. For our second main course, we went with the brisket in mole poblano. So mole poblano is one of the most popular moles in Mexico, which is from Puebla. Matthew and I have been there and we'll tell you how good it is. And I say our main course because we always share. <laughs> and this one comes with some tomato risotto as well. So let's see. Mm. Right. Mm. You can actually taste the chocolate in this kind of mole because some moles have some chocolate as an ingredient and you can really taste this one. So it's like a sweet, spicy sauce. Very good. I've definitely had my fair share of moles in Mexico, although I don't think I've ever had it with beef brisket. He's pretty authentic. Well, the babies are awake, definitely past their bedtime. I think they smelt the churros, which we decided to get for dessert, and woke up. It actually has a white chocolate and passion fruit ganache. That's so good. Mm. This passion fruit ganache mm, is so good. They're very authentic, they're very good. And they're nice and warm. Sorry, excuse me. Mm. Sophia would like this, but she's allergic to peanuts, so you know how things can get contaminated, especially desserts. So, not this time, baby. 
So now we're at Trace Maria's Mexican food market. We've actually been here once before, but it was to pick up some groceries because Carla wanted to make a Mexican dish because this place is actually a food market. Now they have a restaurant and I'm assuming it must be good because they have the freshest ingredients around, right? Yeah. <laughs> and just by chance, we're here on Cinco de Mayo, which is a day known to celebrate the Mexican heritage in the States and here in Canada. However, it's not a big deal back in Mexico, but it is a holiday because on that day, we won a very important battle against the French. Well, anyways, let's get in and try some food. Well, it seems that they have a lot of things going on for Cinco de Mayo. We actually miss some uh, live music, but we're here and we ordered some tortilla soup. It's been a while, as well as the today's special, which is birria tacos. You know that I love my birria. And this looks, these ones look different. They look like deep fried. And that's a cool thing about also Mexican food that everyone has their own recipe, but either way, it's usually pretty good. So I'm very excited to try. Also comes with a parito. <laughs> These are super popular in Mexico. I was just saying to Carla too that they don't have the zero version, but they have lots of flavors. This time Mandarin, and very good. But I'm more looking forward to the tortilla soup because it's been a long time since I've had this and it's so, so good. Very good. This is something you can, we could probably make at home, Carla. Yeah, that's true. I can do many things at home. <laughs> oh, I love when they put fresh avocado on it. And also cheese. And we add on chicken. Mm. It is good. So for $5 more, you can get Mexican rice and, and beans on the side. And what is in here? Uy. 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 I feel that. Oh, this is the oju again. And there's some onion and cilantro in here. So let me just add the onion and the cilantro in one of the tacos. It comes with cheese inside. Mm. And I'm not gonna add the oju because I think I'm gonna get dirty and I'm coming with a light color, so just this. Well, let's see, let's see. Mm. You cannot go wrong with birria. It's so good. I like it. And now let me try the rice. Oh, rice and beans. Mm, yummy. Does it taste like Mexico City? It does. Yeah, like beans and rice are very common in a Mexican meal. So of course we needed to get it. What a mess. They're definitely a little messier because they're kind of soft. But good. They're different, right? Like they're like softer. Yeah, I don't think I've seen tacos quite like this before. It looks like a taco de canasta to me. I don't know what that is, so yes. <laughs> this is the taco that we got that is from a basket. It's called like sweaty tacos yeah, almost. Sweaty tacos, there you go. <laughs> if you want a sweaty taco, I was fine. I recommend. <laughs> Last but not least, we're now at Chalitos Taberna, a popular Mexican restaurant right on 17th Ave, which is one of the busiest and most kind of uh, happening streets in Calgary. I can already tell you it definitely has the best patio. So if you're looking for a place to drink in the summer months, today is raining, so we're indoors. So far, we're starting off with tuna ceviche tostadas. And of course, I saw a hibiscus smoky mezcal margarita. I had to give that a try. Oh, it's so good. I love mezcal. I just like that, that smokiness to it. Let's try the tuna. Oh yeah, it's very good. And just the right amount of lime. Oh, I love this stuff. Well, this place is known for its margaritas, but I went with a mojito, a raspberry mojito. Oh, this one is also very, very good. And let's see the tostadas. Oh. Yeah, they're very good, very limey, but good. 
Now we've moved on to our mains, we decided to go with one of their favorites, which is the Pescado Tacos, which has like a beer battered haddock, as well as a jalapeno lime mayo. And then we had to get some street tacos, of course. I went with a Pastor, because that's my favorite tacos in Mexico. And Carla went with her barbacoa. But I'm gonna try this one first, because I don't know if I've had Pastor tacos. It's pretty good, definitely not Mexico City. Yeah, but but pretty good. Now this one. Yeah, they're very good. I definitely like the fish. It's got like a nice crispiness to it. I think you're gonna like them, Carlo. Matthew didn't do this right. He didn't squeeze the lime oh, on the I taco. Forgot. Yes. Amateur move, right? Yeah, that's a thing that you gotta do. So I got the barbacoa because I love barbacoa. And it, there's a sign that they got a, an award once. So I said, I gotta try their tacos here. So far, their tortillas look very original, size and texture. So now let's see the taste. Mmm. It tastes pretty authentic. Yeah, I would say it's pretty good. And now I'm really looking forward to try the pescado tacos, just because we haven't really had any fish tacos in this video. And this one have just what I like, guacamole, pico de gallo. And I'm gonna add the Valentina sauce on my taco as well, so. Let's see, let's see. Wait, this one is a big taco, pretty good meal. Mm. Very good taste, I like it, I like it. What's I your, agree with you, that crispiness in the fish is nice. What's your favorite of the three so far? The tostadas? Is... Well, the tostadas and this. I mean, it's different. But I like it. I'm so excited about this because this is the first time that I've seen a shrimp cocktail in a menu. And this is so Mexican. So it's basically shrimp with some like ketchup and lime. Like it's described here as a spicy tomato sauce with avocado and tortilla chips. And oh my God, I'm very excited. Mm. No, they really nail the flavors here. They taste like Mexico. Mm. It is spicy, but just the right amount. Mm. Carl is definitely right. Everything here tastes very good. I would definitely recommend it. And it's got that bar vibe too, so I'm pretty sure if you come here on a happen at night, this would be a very lively place. And I'm trying to pick my favorite meal that we've had here today. I'm really between the tuna tostadas or, or this shrimp cocktail. Even though we said that we were not gonna get this dessert, <laughs> I really wanted to try this one because it's a tres leches cake and it's kind of a moist cake. I mean, it's sounds horrible, that word, but it's actually very moist and it's very good. And we haven't had this dessert before. So the description, it actually says vanilla sponge cake soaked in three kinds of milk and whipped cream. Mm. It is good. If you want to try something different, get this guy. It is good. Have you tried this before in Mexico? I think I have, but it definitely didn't look like this. I don't no, know it we, doesn't. I don't know if we had it at a party or something. It didn't definitely didn't have whipped cream and that kind of stuff. No, it looks more like a party cake in Mexico. Yeah. I don't. I also. I don't know what the why people don't like the word moist. It's fine. pretty good and also because it has like chocolate dressing on top and whipped cream what's the other condensed milk I think all the good stuff <laughs> well now that we finished the five Mexican restaurants that we're featuring in this video we thought we'd write out our favorites from one to five and see how we match up ready okay ready and our favorite Mexican restaurants in Calgary are are they the same Oh, a little different, a little different. So, so number one, we did match Fonda Fora. And, and think, you say why you like it. Yeah, well, for, I mean, it's 
You'll see if you go try it, it's definitely the most unique Mexican restaurant. It's not really typical food. Some of it might be, but a lot of it's more inspired by me Mexican cuisine. You no, know, it's like upscale. Yeah, I mean, yes, it is authentic Mexican food because they do a lot of mole dishes, which is a very fancy and very elaborated sauce in Mexico. And it's a higher cuisine, so the reason why I chose it as my first is because I find it that it was something new, something exciting. Like we love the drinks, like everything is very well crafted. Yeah, we awesome. like the atmosphere. Yeah, so the I think cocktails are very good, and yeah. the restaurant's very fancy. It's like a nice place to go for a drink. Like a special, a special place to go. So overall, I think you check a lot of the boxes that you're looking for in a restaurant. So that's why I chose that one as my number one. <laughs> And then number two, My I, had, one. I had moose and poncho, and you had chilitos. Right? But then you had what, moose and poncho third, so yeah. pretty close. It was actually hard to, for my second and third option. So I went with moose and poncho simply because um, I just really thought their tacos were super good and very filling, a lot of toppings on them, and just really tasty. And, and a great uh, value. Yeah. I agree with you. I can say that also very authentic, like uh, it's very, very good. So, but the reason I went with Chilitos and Taberna is again because I like the drinks. Like even Moose and Poncho offers like Aguas Frescas and like the Jarritos, which is a Mexican pop. I also like the idea that Chilitos um, has like this like, cocktails, yeah. which were also very tasty. And again, like the atmosphere overall, like I like it that is on 17 and a half, you know, it, it can be a perfect place for a summer, um, uh, summer like dine hour or whatever. Yeah, I think like if you're looking just for tacos, especially something quick, or you want to go to a food court atmosphere so that other people have other options, Moose and Poncho definitely is a great option. And like Carlos said, um, Cholitos definitely has the best patio of all the five restaurants. So if you're looking for something in the summer and you want to be outside, that's the winner. Yeah. And it's on 17th Ave, so it's yeah. where like a lot of the liveliness is in, in Calgary. So it's a great spot. So both of them are very good in their flavors, very authentic. It really tastes like real Mexico. And just another thing that I like about Chile to Santa Berna is because I love their shrimp cocktail, as, you, as I good. said, <laughs> and, the, and the, well, the seafood dishes, which is hard to find in any other um, restaurant we went and I really like it so just for a different options. And then both of us matched up for Native Tongues as number four. Yes. Now like Native Tongues is often like one of the more popular Mexican restaurants in the city. Yeah. There's actually two locations. We went to the first one which is kind of around 12th Avenue if I remember, kind of like downtown. Mm -hmm. Very and good location. What did you think of that one? It's um, also got a cool, cool vibe, like yeah. a bar type atmosphere. It's really nice. Yeah, it's just like, it's hard to pick, like now that we try other places, like we're going more towards the favor. And as we mentioned mm. in the beginning, you have a real Mexican here and Matthew has been there a lot of times and he's Canadian. So it's not that it's completely biased. And also we didn't try the same things everywhere. Yeah. Right? It's not like we can compare all the tacos everywhere. We tried different dishes, but just overall, these are the ones that kind of stood out to us. Then, Either yeah. way, you can't, can't go wrong with any of them. They're all very good. Yeah. And then last but not least, Tres, Tres Marias. Maria. Yeah. So in the, this one, I mean, it's also like kind of like convenient in the sense that you can buy Mexican ingredients there. It's like, a, it's, it's nothing like a fancy. Store. I think it's just if you're looking for Mexican food. And I mean, Mexican food is very good overall. I just, um, I mean, the food was good, but I just feel that they need a little bit more seasoning, a little bit more like... Maybe salt or something. Yeah. It just didn't have quite that flavor punch that the other four restaurants have and that we find more standard with like Mexican food when you go to Mexico City. Yeah, but it, it's very popular as well. And then you can do some grocery shopping there. And then I think if you're like... Uh, a local Calgarian, any of these places you can easily visit, but if you're a tourist, I would say Trace Maria's would be the more difficult one, just because it's in Marta Loops, you'd have to get there probably by car or by Uber or something like that. Whereas the other four are pretty much in the touristy areas uh, mm -hmm. and a lot of stuff like happening around it. So. Yeah, however, we chose these ones because are like they 
higher rank restaurants in the city. Yeah, but and a few, it's definitely not all the yes. best Mexican restaurants. There's a few more we would have liked to try, but we just ran out of time. And this video will be very long. <laughs> yeah, but these are definitely five of, of the top restaurants, but there's about, if I remember correctly, about 10 that we really wanted to try. But if you want to learn more about even more Mexican restaurants, we do have an article on Must Do Canada that we'll link in, in the description below. And we'd love to know if you've been to these restaurants and yeah. like what you think of them or if this video inspires you to visit them we'd love for you to leave us a comment and let us know what you thought yeah and why uh, and if you like that we do this kind of videos you know like sometimes featuring food can be difficult but we try to be a little bit more descriptive and i think everyone likes a uh, food or are lo is looking for especially mexican food yeah restaurants in a city so I re I'm really happy that we feature Mexican restaurants. Yeah, because people <laughs> ask us all the time because of Carla. Yes. <laughs> so if yeah. you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe. Leave us a comment. We always love to hear from you. And as always, if you want to learn more about Calgary or about Canada as a whole, check out our website at mustdocanada.com. Say hi. Well, the babies have been behaving very good. Pretty soon they're going to be asking no formula. We want golden beaks with pesto. <laughs> Here's Sofia, her favorite pastime, doing trumpets. Look, they're all wet. <laughs>